Hi, my name is Sherry Mathis, um, and I would like to share a little bit of my journey with my breast cancer. Um, in 2014, the fall, my dear friend was diagnosed with breast cancer. And at that point, I got really involved with breast cancer awareness. I would do all of the fundraisers, the breast cancer walks, you know, anything that I felt like would bring attention to breast cancer awareness. Um, little did I know at that point that come that December, I would have been in the same boat as my friend. Um, December 30th, 2014, I was diagnosed with a rare type of breast cancer, which is called Paget's disease and melanoma on the same day. I had been going to a breast cancer specialist for over two years with issues with my left nipple. Um, I would explain to her, you know, the problems I was having as far as irritation, you know, um, just everything that was bothering me with it. You know, it was very cracked and stuff like that. And she would always tell me just to put some oil on it or some ointment, and then she would check me in six months. Um, so that went on for two years. Um, in December of that 2014, um, I had one of my, you know, monthly checkups or every six months checkup um, with a breast cancer specialist. And at the same time, she told me the same thing, you know, put some ointment on it and then come back in six months. And um, she told me at that point, she said, you know, if you're not comfortable with it at that point, we'll go ahead and do the biopsy. So, you know, she was my doctor, so I listened to everything she said. Well, um, in the meantime, I had had a spot that came up on my chest. Um, so the following day, I had an appointment with my dermatologist. So when the doctor came in, she you know, looked at the spot and she said, oh, we need to biopsy that, you know, as soon as we can. And um, so she did that. Um, and then she wanted to do a full body scan. And of course, you know, I allowed her to do that. Um, I also explained to her about the issue that I was having with my breast. So she took a look at that. And her uh, first comment was, we can't wait six months, you know, for the other doctor to get that done. We're going to go ahead and biopsy it today. Of course, you know, I went ahead and I let her go ahead and do that. Um, it was the week of Christmas. So I really didn't have anything on my mind when it comes to all of that kind of stuff, you know, worrying about it. You know, my mind was on Christmas festivities and, you know, the grandbabies and everything else. The following week, I had to go back to have my stitches removed. Um, Still wasn't really worried about anything, you know, just wasn't even crossing my mind. So when the doctor came in, uh, first thing she said was, um, well, it's not good news. You know, so of course I looked at her and I asked her, I said, well, which one? And she said, well, I'm sorry to tell you, they're both cancer. So as you, know, you can imagine, I just about fell to the floor because um, I didn't expect to have one cancer, much less two, you know, diagnosed on the same day. Um, it was about a week later, they went ahead and they did the surgery on the melanoma. They said they needed to do that first before, uh, you know, we went into any further with the breast cancer. So once I was healed from that, it was about two weeks later, um, they went ahead and they did the first surgery on my breast. Uh, what they did was they went in and they took off like the top half of my breast and the nipple area as well. Uh, then they had me go through 10 weeks um, of radiation um, which was a nightmare. <laughs> so uh, after that, you know, I saw a different breast cancer specialist at that point. And uh, that doctor was like, you know, you need to have a double mastectomy done um, to take care of this because it's so rare. We really don't know as far as it coming back and how that would work. So of course, you know, I told her that was fine. Um, they explained to me at that point that I would not be a candidate um, for implants since you know, I'd already had the radiation and they just were not allowed to do that. So they told me about a process and it was called deep flap. Now this procedure was actually, they would go in and they would do a double mastectomy. Um, and then this is all going to be done on the same day. Um, it was a double mastectomy and then remove um, some tissue and fat from your abdomen and then actually conform and um, contrast your breast with that material. So I chose to go that route. Um, so my surgery lasted, I think it was like 13 and a half hours. Uh, Cause like I say, they had to remove the breast, take the fat and then, you know, build your breast from that. They had to actually go in and reconnect um, every blood vessel from your chest to the new tissue um, from your abdomen that they had placed there because they needed to keep everything live. Um, so, you know, I had all that done. Uh, and then it was like, I think I had five more surgeries, which one of those was a surgery where they um, went in and actually 
created and made a new nipple for both of my breasts. And when that was um, healed up, I actually was got to have um, a tattoo artist do um, my areolas. So at that point, you know, I was feeling like a real woman again, uh, just glad everything was over. That process actually took almost three years from beginning to the end on that. Um, you know, during this time, I could not have made it at all without my family, my friends, and my coworkers. Everybody was amazing, you know, as far as just worried about me. I had so many people praying for me that um, it was just unbelievable. You know, you never know how important your friends and your peers, coworkers, and everybody is until you go through something like this. And it really, really, really um, makes you feel amazing. Um, you need to always have a good support group, someone to talk to. During this time, my friend that I mentioned earlier, we were, our surgeries were all about the same time. She was always one step ahead or one step behind me. So we really helped each other out during that time. Still to this day, I have people that will call me that's, you know, been recently diagnosed and just want us to hear my side or what I've got to say. You know, I can never tell someone what to do. I can just tell them what I went through and then they have to make their own choice as far as the route that they would want to go. Um, you know, you like they say, the good support group, they will always get you through the good days and the bad days. And believe me, you will have both, and it's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to laugh. It's just, that's just the journey that you'll be going through. Um, just always stay positive. I was positive from the beginning to the end with this. I knew that God was in control and that he was going to take care of me. As a matter of fact, uh, one of my doctors actually had me talk to some of his patients. He wanted them to see how I was dealing with my positivity and, you know, try to help them through it. He actually said that um, that's probably what got me through everything so fast, and then I healed so well, just being positive. You know, some things to think about. Make sure you have your mammogram. Mammogram would not detect the kind of cancer that I had, um, so know your body. You, nobody knows your body better than you would. So if you think something's wrong and the doctor's telling you one thing, keep following your heart. Go for it. Don't just take their word because you know the best for yourself. Um, I really, you know, I feel like the melanoma probably saved my life. Um, if it hadn't been for the melanoma, you know, who knows what in six months could have happened with the breast cancer. You know, we just don't know. So definitely God was in control of that. You know, he had control of that melanoma because he knew I needed to have the breast cancer um, taken care of. If you um, know something is wrong, just follow it, do it. Um, looking back on this, I probably should have had, um, you know, a second opinion back two years prior to it. And if I had done that, I would have been way ahead of, you know, the process. Um, here's just some things to think about. Have your mammogram. Do your self-checks. Mammograms are really important, and the self-checks are as well. Um, know, like I say, know your body like we talked about before. Just always know that God is in control and he will take you through everything. I am now six years, almost six years cancer-free and loving life. God bless all of you and have a great day.